Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Shapeless Skyrim. My name is Tori. My name is Tyler. Today, we are going to be looking at four mods for you to turn Skyrim into your magical little witchcraft world where you can mm. be elves mm. and wizards and cast all your magical, yeah. mystical spells. Sure, not like vanilla Skyrim. Tyler, the first mod of the day is going to require us to change our race. So let's go to the race menu. Now, Tori, why don't you scroll down a little bit? Oh, actually, you don't need to because one of them is right here in Adventurer's Weapon Pack V3. Race Pack. Yeah, so this is going to add seven brand new races to the game, all with their own unique uh, sort of skills and like base perks and what, uh, basically how it's going to set you up for your role playing. I do want to say I'm a big stupid idiot who did forget to say that this is suggested by Ice Princess Talia. So thank you very much for that suggestion. And thank now you. with that out of the way, we can describe a little bit about the mod. Whoa. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new yeah. races that you can play as. These are the Dryad, which are stealth and magic, the Jikin, the Oh, the Jiblinski games. Jikinin, Jikinin key. Doesn't matter, Tyler. It's made up, it's made up stuff. It's made up. It doesn't matter. It's scary. It's this one is just, doesn't matter. Say whatever you want, man. <laughs> this is Ron. This, Call him whatever the fuck you want. I guess, I guess Neon was like, I like this one the best because the Jiki Nikki is all abilities. You just get all of them. <laughs> oh, so this, Ron, this gentleman. Yeah, Ron Ronald. gets everything. This man, you're looking at the face of a god. Yes. There are the Kermers, which are mm -hmm. combat-based. Uh, the Maukazi, which is combat and magic. Yeah, and also everyone's dad. Rasalka, which is mm -hmm. stealth and thinking that metal music is the best kind of music, and if you listen to pop music, you're a normie. The Saruman, which is magic, and also accounting. And also, yeah, just kind of, this is Ron's brother. This is Ron's brother who works in sales. Yeah, that's his Christian name, is, is, is Ron's brother. And then there's the Tigrar, which are yes. combat, stealth, and it will get you bullied in high school. Yeah, and Tyler, look, we're making a new character for this, and I do have an idea of someone I want to go with. No. Can't we just yeah. be Ron? How do you feel about Garfet? I don't. I don't feel anything about that. I feel nothing. How does it make you feel down there? No. You can't. No. You can't. We're Garfet. In the normal game, there's nothing I could have done to ever become the beautiful Garfet. But with the power of mods, I am Todd's greatest creation. Yeah, and Garfet is combat and stealth based so you can sneak up and catch that lasagna while no one's looking and if someone tries to stop you you can just fucking kill them you can fucking murder them and ain't no one gonna be able to say shit about it but tyler garfet's wearing jan's clothes it feels a little i don't know like it's just it's it's it seems like she's being dishonest with herself i think that we need to maybe go find an outfit that suits our beautiful garfet Garfet hates Tuesdays, because that's when this show comes out. Garfet fucking hates this show. Ooh-wee, Tyler. This hot sun beating down on uh, this this old kitty here is just, uh, <laughs> it's, it's hot. It's it's too hot. You know, you got to strip down. You need something a little more breezy when you got this thick coat of fur on you. So uh, I hope you got something that can help out Garfet. I don't want to be associated with you or this episode in, in any way, shape, or form. Please remove my name. And We're here for mod number two, which is called Blind Justice Tunic. And this is going to give us a little bit of a breezier outfit for summer. And this is suggested by Nana Orihara. So thank you very much for that suggestion. Or actually, you know what? I'm I'm mad at you for suggesting this, and I'm mad at Tori for combining these. Hey, it's not their fault. They didn't make Garfet. That's a that's my beautiful brainchild. So I'm just gonna take all of these. They're right in the chest outside of Riverwood here, and uh, let's see if they're it's a little bit lighter and breezier for this hot summer day. Ugh. sounded like a sparkling water burp that's a beer burp well it doesn't work on garfet it doesn't work particularly well on our lovely gal well the clothes actually work just fine 
it's the block it's the it's the like eye cover that doesn't yeah. really stretch to the Khajiit head. No, so, not not very well at all. Oh my god, what is it taken from? Um it's taken it, from the Yeah, it's uh, like the injured injured soldiers. Yeah, the injured soldiers where the eye blind comes from. But then what is the dress from? Oh, this is a uh, 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 nocturnal. Yeah, yeah, it's Nocturnal's dress yeah. uh, that that takes it from. It just makes a clean white version, and it also gives you 15 of them. So if you wanted, like, a cult following sure. of everyone Give wearing me. these dresses. Yeah, you get yourself a gaggle of Garfats. You're going to have them all dressed up. It does come with another version, though, so we can check it that does. out. Let's give that a try. I took off the eye patch and put on the new one, which seems to be just Actually the clothes fits better. that are white. It does fit better. It does fit better. I will. I will admit that. And I think without the eye patch thing sticking out of the back of her head, yeah, yeah. I can't so, say that I'm like overly impressed. Like this mod just really takes some basic clothes and turns them pure white uh, in an attempt to make it look a little bit more like uh, the Greek goddess of justice, I believe. Yeah. So it's intended to make it look like Lady Justice with the blindfold, the scale, and the sword. Tori, an injustice is happening. I Put an end to it. <laughs> just kicks it in the fucking head. Damn, Garfet, you do hate dogs, don't you? Garfet hates drinking. <laughs> hates Tuesdays. Hates dogs. He's hates still alcohol. talking to me. Loves ricotta. <laughs> Loves ricotta. She can't get enough of that stuff. Yeah, what's her thing? Is it pizza? Is it uh? Is it Alfredo? No, it's 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 still lasagna. Type. <laughs> it's still lasagna. <laughs> Oh it. my god! <laughs> it just came. Damn! It just Garf came right out of the hood. Yeah, Garfet go hard as hell, and not a drop of blood on that pure white dress. Look at her, Lady it was like Justice a, indeed. It was like a reverse circumcision. Like you got the tip, but not the hood. <laughs> ah, yeah, fuck! I did it so wrong. Tori, hit the hit the menu. What day is it today? <laughs> ah yes! <laughs> yes! I hate Tuesdays. It's the worst day of the week. Oh, I shit. hate Tyrodos. Tyler, we're, here's the thing. We're recording this episode kind of late, and ain't no one going to think our shit's funny this week. It's just me and you, like, deep in a Garfat hole. See, again, I'm deeply uncomfortable. I don't want this episode to air. I don't want to be associated with anything you're saying. Welcome to mod number three, Tyler. What do we got? For mod number three, we have Leshy's Magic Cart, and this is going to be in the work in progress section. So you have to click that little work in progress button in order to see this mod. You and do. this mod is a lot like uh, some nerd shit from Harry Potter, the room of requirement, where mm, it's just a little a thing dork. that follows you everywhere. And you can open up this cloud storage in any city, essentially. Yes. So this is a cart that will be in all of the major cities. And let's just go to the junk barrel. As you can see, it was kind of broken up by category of stuff but let's just let's just go ahead and see let's get rid of some amber amethyst being a jar who cares about that okay we have come to solitude and tyler in the mod description there where did it say the cart is in solitude so ah, it does give you all I of the listings it. yep it's right next to the market stalls so if you go back into that junk category you should Boom. see all, all of my that stuff's so there. it is linked storage with eight different containers mm -hmm. uh you know, they're all going to be on the same place in each cart, so you can just go back to them. You can access all of your stuff. It is this magical cart. I think that's a cool way to incorporate cloud storage. Yeah, because it's a little bit more lore-friendly. We've shown off cloud storage mods in the past, but this one being like, no, it's like a, a cart, essentially. Like, there's something about it being a, like a tangible thing in the world that just makes it feel a little bit more fair if you are worried about your game feeling somewhat lore-friendly. You said you mentioned a merchant earlier. I believe that there is a merchant that is planning to be added to the mod. So if you get this, check for updates because you, uh, you could have a little merchant that's there every time as well. I want to travel to one more location just so you can see this. Tori... Do we still have Lakeview Manor? Boom. Right Ooh. there. So even when you have the uh, DLC houses, which, come on, we all have them. Like, there's no way you don't have the DLC at this point. Right. It's, it's included in the game, and they're great houses, so of course every player is going to want them. So it goes a ton of different places. It's not just major holds. It's far more useful than that. Like, yes. it incorporates travel to 
Solitude, Windhelm, Markarth, Riften, Whiterun, Morthal, Dawnstar, Winterhold, Falkreath, Rorkstead, Riverwood, Iverstead, Dragonbridge, Carthwaste, and Shorestone, Lakeview Manor, Winstead Manor, Jesus Harkin Christ. Hall, Raven Rock, my, Skull Village. My guy just did the fucking poker rap. Pikachu, Raichu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fact that it's at Lakeview Manor. I actually didn't even know that, so I'm glad you caught that in the description. That is wicked cool because then it's just so easy if you don't want to worry about being over encumbered you're not willing to cheat but you are willing to have a little bit of cloud storage it's a good addition exactly and it will be adding a merchant soon as tori mentioned so it's honestly i think the coolest lore friendly not kind of lore friendly ish way to incorporate cloud storage into your game it's it's very very cool and it's yep. added to so many locations that you and can make it work. They even add like little stones under the wheels. Like that's why it's not rolling away. There's little stones under there keeping it. That's a nice detail. That's a good detail. That's a good ass cart. That's a good ass cart. I, I like the look of that cart. With all of our money wasted on lasagna, um, mm -hmm. we had to down, we had to sell Lakeview Manor. Um, couldn't afford it. We couldn't. No, couldn't afford the mortgage anymore. We were just too deep in the lasagna debt. Yep. Our, our fucking lasagna creditors were calling us, harassing us every day. Yep. So we had to buy uh, a dinky apartment on the bad side of town for mod yep. number four, we which sure is did. called Gray Quarter Apartment. And this is suggested also by Nana Orihara. So thank you very much for that thank suggestion. Thank you so much for the suggestion. Yeah, so if you come to the Gray Quarter, it is going to be right here. Uh, it's, it doesn't have a fancy name, just Gray Quarter Apartment. And uh, you can get a key if you go to the shop. I don't remember exactly what the shop is called, but you can buy a key and a deed to the house. And uh, that's if you're not rad. But yeah. Garfet, Garfet is decidedly rad, and she just breaks in. As you Ooh, can see, it it's a small place, you know? I was going to say it's spacious, Tyler. I would say this is worth three, four grand a month. I mean, you're literally cramped in. You, the first thing you walk into are stairs. Oh, I mean, like, hey, you put a mattress there? That's a bedroom, pal. I don't... Can you fit a mattress there? Mattresses come in different sizes, okay? You can just cut one in half. Okay, get, the, oh, the youth doesn't have any ingenuity these days. Oh, shit. This is three stories? Oh, I don't know if we can afford this. It's a three-story apartment, yeah. So you go up here. And this is where your roommates stay because they wanted to make a mod for 2022. So it is you you are an adult with roommates, which is fantastic. This is where Ron lives. Even though Ron's Ron, got a pretty cushy job, he, he, even he was still affected by the economic impacts, you know? I like the design of this so far, starting from the bottom down. Like, it's, it's obviously very small, but it's got kind of a cool, somewhat cozy design. So if you come down here to the middle floor... Again, you got your uh, little fireplace. You can do all your cooking and stuff in here. And this is where your chambers are going to be. So this is your bed. You can go ahead. And, I like how you get a double bed. Ron just gets a cot. That's great. <laughs> Ron and his wife get separate cots. <laughs> yeah. But to be fair, they haven't slept in the same bed since 2008. So. so you got all your ingredients. I mean, it's a great little rest stop to, like, if you are the kind of person who just wants to come into your house, drop off your shit, refill your potions. This is great. You got the bookshelf. You got your crafting stations. You got your bed. Perfect. Now, if you come down to the main floor, you got your butter churn right by the door, like how we all have. Everyone has their, their door butter mm -hmm. churn. Well, and it's this for is, uh, guests when they walk in, because every guest when they walk in is supposed to... Ch okay, now, now it's, time, it's your turn to churn the butter before you come in my house. Yeah, if you're coming for dinner, you better help churn this damn butter, right? Nothing, you yeah. don't get anything for free. Now, I, this kitchen, look, I get, I get times are hard, gang. But Garfet's huge, and <laughs> she can't, <laughs> it's going to be awfully hard to bake a seven-layer lasagna when you're just clacking your extremely tall ears off the staircase all the time, you know? I don't know if all seven layers of the lasagna will fit on that island yeah. there. But I'll tell you what's great is that we've got a bunch of garlic and a bunch of wine, both things you want with lasagna. And you go ahead, you got your butter churn. You're going to have some garlic bread with your lasagna. Oh, oh, I like the detail of the shoes by the entrance. What? There's shoes by the entrance. Oh, my God. I didn't even see that. That's great. 
Yeah, there is lots of little details in this mod that are really, really great. This is probably the nicest damn place in the Grey Quarter. Oh, for sure. Like, it is truly a great design for being very small. And it's I think it's common knowledge on the show that I am a huge fan of when people take a really small footprint and make it efficient and really well designed to fit a tiny square footage. Well, Tyler, that is all we have for today. Thank you for everyone who recommended mods. Uh, they were great suggestions. And if you have mods you'd like to see on future episodes of the show, you can suggest those to me on Twitter. I will be at Lurking Lion. I will be at Subtly Cool, or you can contact us on Twitter at Shapeless Media. However, best place if you want to leave some recommendations, you got either the comments on this old YouTube video right here where you can interact and... Uh, Maybe leave a comment, we'll respond. Only positive comments, though. And you can also go to our Discord, where we have different channels, where you can uh, just chat it up in general. You can leave mod recommendations in the uh, mod channel, or we have a podcast suggestion channel. Now, Tori, why on earth would we have a podcast topic recommendation channel? Well, because every single Friday we do a casual conversational comedy podcast called Baseless Claims. It's a good time. You like the back and forth. You like the, the hot Garfield goofs. I, I mean, for real, if you like the Garfield goofs, you should listen to Baseless Claims. Why'd you call Garfield hot? Why'd you just say the hot Garfield goofs? Oh, well, I mean, I mean, it's a hot goof about Garfield. I don't mean like goofs about a sexy Garfield. Okay. Just checking. Seeing if you would yeah. slip up on that yeah. one. My modifying word was weirdly placed. I'll give you that one. Uh, yeah, but every single Friday, it's available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, any podcatchers you like to listen on, we are there. It's also right here on this YouTube channel, so make sure to subscribe, and you'll be able to uh, see that right as it comes out. If you want Garfet to stay as our main character for this nope. uh, series, please uh, hashtag save Garfet. And if we get enough, Garfet will be our new character and replace Jan Cena forever. Or... If you're like me and you're on team Ron, hashtag Ron from accounting, and then we replace Garfet with Ron from accounting. All right. The battle is laid before you. Get in the this comments. This is the real infinity war. Get in the comments, and we'll see you next week for more Shapeless Skyrim. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Tyler, that's fucking disgusting. No, I would not bang Garfet.